What is going on, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, we want to go over some of the reported issues that gamers have been having in Assassin's Creed Valhalla since it came out a week ago, and we also want to cover some of the workarounds that the developers have told us to do until the next title update comes out. Now, if you happen to be new to our channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as you can see on the screen, we are currently having a giveaway for a $100 gift card to either the Xbox or PlayStation Store, depending on which console you're running. And all you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner on December 10th of this year, and as I've said in all of my other videos, you know, watching our content is not a requirement to win. At our channel, we only want you watching things you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So the first thing we're going to show you is a message from the development team put out the other day, and it says, this is to let you know that we deployed a server-side update earlier today that should allow players to proceed with the Seer Solace quest Thank you for your patience while we worked on this fix. They then go on to recommend that you fully close the game application for the fix to become active, as well as attempt the completion of the quest immediately upon loading your save game. Finally, you can see at the bottom they say we genuinely appreciate all of you for your vigilance in reporting issues to us and want you to know that we are currently working on our next title update. You can expect fixes for some of the reported known issues and more later this month. Stay tuned. And in my opinion, communication like this is what separates a good game from a great game. Because look, every single game at launch has issues. That's a given. However, the fact that they deployed a patch so quickly really shows that they're listening to the community. And as we move on, if any of you are having issues in the game that we don't highlight in this video, please make sure you leave that in the comments section below because we definitely want to try to help you get them fixed. So for those of you who happen to be new to our channel, one thing that I do here is I bring up things that are happening in the community regardless of if they're happening to me or not. And I say that because I've been really lucky with this game and that I haven't had a lot of bugs or glitches take place. I am playing on Xbox Series X. I have had the thing totally shut down on me like three or four times, but other than that, it's been pretty smooth. However, we do want to take some time and go over the issues a lot of gamers are having right now. Unfortunately, there is no date for a patch as yet, and while we don't have the answers on when these fixes will actually happen, the good news is that they're aware and they're working on it. So first of all, one of the biggest issues players are having right now, and as you can see, this is on all platforms, it's that save games are appearing as corrupted. Now the workaround they've given you is they want you to relaunch your game application and continue your playthrough using the continue option. So obviously this is not a fix to the problem, and this is a major issue because we have heard from a lot of gamers that have put tens of hours of gameplay in just to have to really start everything over again. Now they have mentioned that they are making this a top priority. We've also heard from other gamers saying that files that were previously corrupted are working properly now. So hopefully that's the case for you. And if not, like I said, that's something that should be fixed really soon. Next, we want to go over some of the issues that are under investigation and also some of the comments that the dev team has made. However, there are a lot of bugs that are happening right now that we're not even going to list for a few reasons. First of all, we don't want to give any spoilers away in regards to the story missions or side quests or things like that. However, the main reason we're not going over all of the bugs is there's really too many to list. There's so many UI things and just glitches and texturing and there's a lot going on. Anyway, we'll get into that in a minute, but what you're looking at now are some of the items under investigation that the actual Ubisoft, you know, forum put out. And it says on all platforms, killing an alpha animal with a stun kill will not provide a skill point reward, and the load game section may appear blank when opening it after booting up the game. Next, you can see there are some comments from the dev team, and again, this is for all platforms. First off, dropping the torch during battle requires you to aim with LT and press RT to drop, and they want you to know that is an intended behavior. 
World events cannot be completed due to various actions. Their workaround at this point is to reset fast travel to a different location and return later to restart. We'll get to that in a second. The world map territories do not scale to Ivor's power level. This is also an intended behavior. Finally, they go on to mention that the Way of the Berserker and the Legends of Beowulf can be accessed after founding your settlement in England. To start the quest, you need to go to Eivor's room in the Longhouse and open your letterbox and read the highlighted letters. Now, the one thing I took away from all of that was the part where they mentioned that world events cannot be completed due to various actions. And in my opinion, that means just plain and simple, they know all of these issues that are going on and they want them fixed. However, there are too many to list, so they have to kind of, you know, sum it up that way. And my friends, as I, you know, say all this stuff, I have not had, like I said, any issues with this game whatsoever. My system has crashed a few times, but other than that, the game has run really smoothly for me. However, I want to make sure I address things that are happening to let you know that they are being worked on. And I know that there is a really good part of the Assassin's Creed community that is frustrated because obviously they've been waiting for the game for a long time and a lot of people feel, oh, it's just happening again like in previous games, they're rushing it out too early. I don't think that's the case. I think they delayed it for a reason and I think with a game like this, there are going to be issues at launch no matter what. And as we start to wrap this video up, I want to go over a few other things that have been brought to our attention. First of all is the screen tearing issue. We know a lot of people are dealing with that. I don't have an answer. They haven't even actually put that on their known issues yet in regards to the forums, but hopefully that's something they're going to address soon. We've also heard from a lot of people wanting the ability to see what they can purchase from the merchant in regards to cosmetics for their character, as in tattoos, because, you know, I want to know what I'm buying before I get it, so hopefully they will be implementing that into the game soon. And on that note, my friends, I think we're going to wrap up this video. As I mentioned earlier, make sure if you didn't hear any issues in the game that you happen to be having, please leave them in the comments below. I know there was a lot of stuff I didn't get to, but again, there's a lot of buggy stuff happening, so we really couldn't list it all. This is going to be our first of many news type videos that we send you guys. We're going to go over bug fixes, glitches, issues that are happening in the game. We're going to give you updates in regards to patches as well as different title updates. And hopefully you guys will keep coming back to get any information that you need in regards to the game. For many of you, this may be the first time visiting our channel, and as I've mentioned before, our goal here is simple. It's to create a non-toxic gaming environment where gamers work together, and like I said, I really try to tell, you know, both sides of the coin. That way, it's like a fair assessment of what's going on. Like I said earlier, my friends, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing here. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. It really does help us out. But most importantly, as always, take care, be kind, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.